Hello again everybody, in the last videos I showed you how to do linear regression in orange. Now I'm going to show you how to do classification. So as you remember, classification is when our target values are discrete. For example, a flower type, setosa, I don't know, like, or it's like a car versus cat, you know, like image recognition. So this is called a kind of classification problem. Now let's just start with a very basic classification first. Again, we are going to open file. Uh, let's open a file, you know, the iris data set, the famous iris data set. So what is this data set? I'm just going to show you in the data table first to make sure you understand. We have three kind of flowers. If I do visual numeric values, it's going to definitely classify itself and show it to you. So you have three kind of flowers, Setosa, Versicolor, Virginica, okay? And you have sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. So we don't want all of these you know, uh, basically features, we just want to choose the best ones. So if you remember, how do we do that? Okay, we're going to rank it. We're going to rank, not select the data set, basically the whole data. Just to make it more clean, I'm going to remove this. We already saw the data set, and I, in the first video, I talked a lot about the iris data set. Now, I'm going to use chi-squared, doesn't matter, whatever method you want to use, it's going to always come to the petal length and petal width. So it's going to choose the first two as the best. Now I'm going to do a polynomial classification. And if you just polynomial classification. And I want to see how this prediction works. Is the predictor good or not? So I'm going to give it to the, as you remember, we had something called predictor predictions. I give coefficients, I don't want to give coefficients, I want to give the model as the predictor, right? And a model as the predictor. And I'm going to give, not coefficients, I'm going to give data as that. Okay, good to go. Now if I go to my predictions, so what happening here? Before going there, let's open the polynomial classification. This is one versus all scenario. So it's, the target is Iris Setosa here, and the other ones are the other ones, you know, the Virginica and Versicular. If I change it, it's going to be, this is the tough one. We're going to go through it, how we can do this. You want to see how we do it? It's very simple. Let's increase the polynomial value. You see how it's happening? Good. One. Let's go to 2. So when we increase the polynomial value, what happens? The number of features increase. Okay, By 4 or 5, you see it's almost getting it correctly. right? So it's one versus all scenario. If I open up here, you're going to see it says others versus versicular. Right? Others versicular. So this was the case, right? And this is just the classification. Let's see this, the coefficients, you can just easily say, I want to see the coefficients in the data table. These are your coefficients, okay? It's for each of these features, you have a coefficient, squared, fourth, third, okay? So this is polynomial regression. So you see, if I go just one, okay, it's not going to work very well with just one feature because the thing is, this is in the middle and it's hard to classify and it's also mixed with this virginica this versicular virginica but when i increase the features by increasing the polynomial degree for the classification it you know actually does a good job right if you want to understand more again please shoot you know comment because i I'm just teaching you how to use orange for this thing, but if you want me, I can show you in Python how you code. You can code this thing out. Okay. Now, let me show you one more example, a bit more complicated though. So be ready for, this is going to get a bit complicated. So again, I'm going to open my iris data set. I'm not going to change that for now. I'm going to rank it. You know what ranking means by now, hopefully. And then I'm going to directly, you know, go to, from ranking, I'm going to sample my data set, data sampler, because I want to do some classif series classification over here. Huh? And from data sampler, I said 76%. Okay, good to go. 
and then I'm gonna send this to a test and score. This time we are gonna test and score, okay? I told you it's gonna make more sense over here. And we're gonna give remaining as our test data set. Yeah, it's gonna understand it itself, good to go. Now let's start some couple of models. Polynomial regression, classification, I don't know, you name it. Uh, SVM, support vector machines, these are all, it's, I'll, I can't explain all of these things over here because they are themselves, each one of them takes, you know, a couple of videos to explain. SVM model, let's do, I don't know, you name it, one more. Okay, let's do neural networks, huh? That's cool, right? <laughs> See how do they do that. And then I'm going to connect these to my scoring test and score. Okay, that neural network took the longest as you saw. You see with neural networks and, and SVM, my, I am in 96%, right? Now let's test them on test data set. Almost, uh, my accuracy is around 99%. It's high, very high using these two, the SVM. Polynomial is also good, but let's see what degree polynomial we are. But if I degrees it, see what happens. It's awfully we're going to go down. It's not good at all anymore, right? So this is how you test which one is better. Usually when I want to train a machine learning model on a data set, I just throw it in the orange and I see which model makes more sense for me, right? Now... If I here want to check how this works, how it's going on here. So I'm going to do a confusion matrix, right? This is called confusion matrix. It's going to show you how bad you're classifying, right? So for, as you see, um, sorry, I have to bring it back on. As you see here, looks like we classified Iris Versicola very good, but Iris Virginica, we have two misclassification, and, you know, basically for Setosa, there was no misclassification, and there are some mis misclassifications between Virginica and Versicola. SVM still exists, and, you know, we see it's still not good. We have those misclassifications. And you want to see them, let's say I want to see this misclassified. So I'm just going to drop all the way here. Okay. I'm going to have a scatter plot. Sorry for my... Okay, this is in a scatter plot which shows the... Okay, there you go. And now I'm going to say, okay, yep. Connect this thing. Select it. I want to make this look better so I will do it based on sepal width I don't know let's um, just iris data set find informative project start okay good to go it's kind of like a bit messy still so there are other ways you can change this by You can, let me think, hmm. oh, sorry, I didn't choose the good ones. Petal with petal lens, I'm sorry. And petal, again, I'm sorry, petal with. Okay, now it looks good, right? So now I want to show, because we chose those two. Now I want to show you what's going on. So I'm going to choose from, for example, neural networks is the best one. Oh, you know, these days everybody's talking about them. Select misclassified, and then if I reopen, you see these are the misclassified. And this is the border, actually, where the Virginica and um, Versicolor are com mixed, okay? So this makes complete sense what's going on. Uh, I think it's enough for this video. In the next video, I'm going to continue on classification. And uh, please uh, feel free to send me your questions, and happy machine learning and enjoy it.